how to add an image gallery in Hostinger Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a image gallery into the Hostinger website of yours. So the process is going to be very easy. I'm going to show you two methods in this video. So we are going to head over hostinger.com and then we are going to head or sign in into our account. Once you have did that, you're going to see this dashboard. So we are going to click on websites and make sure we are going to select websites lists. And from here, you're going to have the uh, premium website hosting in this section. Now we are going to select the website that has the uh, logo of Hostinger and not WordPress. So we are going to have this. This is the logo that we seek for. Click on edit website. So we are going to make sure that we are going to use the Hostinger website builder. Now, what are we going to do basically is to have the website loaded. Now, what are we going to do is to add a gallery or image gallery. So just maybe like this, this is a product gallery. So we are going to have here an empty section and we're going to have our uh, project for this specific uh, task done. We're going to add a section in here. And before I seek to the elements, I can show you the first method from here, which is going to have here a section that is specialized for gallery. Now we're going to scroll down on the left side of the screen in here. We have a scrollable menu for choices. We're going to scroll down a little bit until we see images that we are going to see a lot of galleries or um, images implementations. We have gallery, which is going to be integrated as a specific section. We have some regulated masonry grid or slider. I think this is a slider uh, gallery for images and etc. So you are going to select from these the uh, gallery. Also, you can have a slideshow for adding the images and have a scroller, a uh, horizontal scroller for the left and right scrolling. I'm going to add here a gallery. And this is our image gallery. As you can see, this is the first method. Now for the second method, it is going to be here nearly the same, but I'm going to increase a little bit the section height so I can add two elements at once. So for the images, before I had over the second method, you can go ahead and click on edit gallery or manage gallery and select the, um, as you can see, the, uh, the number of the images add images from here or set up the position of each one of the image. If I want this at the first one, I can go ahead and put it at first, the second or whatever. If you are going to click on add another image, you're going to see all the images that you have in here. And then you're going to select and click on edit or add. Basically, that was very simple. I'm going to delete that. So now how we can edit the gallery you can go ahead and click on edit gallery for this. And then you can see the, that you can change the layout from the grid to mastery. You can select the how many items that you are going to show per row. The gap between photos, you can go ahead and adjust it. And also one click, you're going to choose the action what is going to be happening. It is going to open full screen preview or nothing in here, our case. You can add here an animation to the whole section or let it as it is. Now let's uh, stick to the second method, which is going to be consisting of adding from the elements here, a gallery. We have images and we have gallery. You're going to insert the gallery and this is a minimized um, version of this one. So here we have, as you can see, two or um, section for text. We have a header and we have a subheader or a sub, uh, let's say here text. And here we have only a gallery. So you can adjust it, make it a little bit bigger, smaller or whatever. You can edit that with the same settings for the previous one and manage the images. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.